somehow, in some way, on some other plane of vibration, he knows that I'm doing my very best to honor him and that I love him and I miss him dearly. Musician Mark Barden's world changed instantly when his seven-year-old son Daniel was murdered in a mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School back in 2012. Mark took his grief and co-founded Sandy Hook Promise, an organization dedicated to sparking other families, sparing other families the pain of losing children to gun violence. A new documentary explores his inspirational journey. It is called A Father's Promise, and Mark Barden joins us now with his story. Really an honor to meet you, sir. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Before we get into your promise as a father, I want to know a little bit more about your sweet son, Daniel. Uh, we call him our sweet little Daniel because he was a, a sweet little boy who had a, an enormous capacity for compassion and awareness of others. Um, he used to delight us with, with his uh, outreach. He used to help other people. He used to help insects um, uh, right up to his peers. Um, he was just a, a light of sweetness, uh, noticed everything, noticed music, appreciated nature. Uh, I used to tell him, and he was the youngest of our three children, I used to tell him, I really enjoy your company because he was just fun to be with. And he loved music. Yeah, very he much. He loved music. And Very after much. losing him, you kind of lost your love for music, and so, then you got it back, and that's the story of this documentary. That's a nice little story within the story that, yeah, because Daniel and my children, James and Natalie, were all very connected with my music as a professional musician, it was a great little thing to have them, so they really appreciate music, and, and, and when Daniel was, was murdered, it was, uh, it was not the comfort mechanism that one would think. It was very difficult to get back to music. And uh, thanks to Rick Korn and the work of this documentary that started life as a way to examine the role music plays in healing after tragedy and has kind of morphed more into this A uh, Father's Promise, has afforded me um, this very, very natural and organic way to, to back to my real self, which is that of a, as a musician. So A Father's Promise is a documentary executive produced, oh, by the way, by Cheryl Crow. Perhaps you've heard of her. Uh, yeah. I think we have. Yeah. How did that relationship form? Um, uh, Cheryl and I connected through Sandy Hurt Promise when she, when she donated a song and, oh, and offered her services to, to, to play and to perform at our five-year remembrance uh, in New York City in 2017. And we'd stayed in touch over the years. And, and Cheryl is not only a, a bona fide rock star and music legend, but she's also a mom. And uh, she's very concerned about this epidemic of gun violence in our, in our country. And she's been taking steps to, to lend her voice and to put herself into this. And that's part of why she's uh, executive producer for her father's promise. And she sings in it as well. And she sings, cool. we get to play together, and yeah. we get to play together again in New York on uh, December 7th for the, uh, the launch concert for yeah. her father's promise. And Mark, a part of this is a program called Artists for Action. You're wearing a shirt I for that right now. I am proudly displaying the Artists for Action. I am proud to be an artist for action. What does that mean? It's, it's, a, um, it's a collection, a growing uh, group of musicians and artists who uh, care about um, fixing our gun violence epidemic here in the United States and telling their fan bases that this is important to them and that folks should be involved with this. If you think that gun violence is the number one killer of young people under 19 in this country, it should be everyone's number one issue to see how you can get involved and fix it. Artists for Action is bringing together a coalition of musicians and artists who care about this issue and want to share this with their fans. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's a great thing. It's an afforded me an opportunity to, to merge my advocacy work with my, my music and, um, and play with some great artists along the way. Great artists like Peter Gabriel and Billie Eilish. Runs and, the gamut. Uh, yes, we have a, we have a large uh, roster. Go to uh, artistsforaction.com. Uh, it's singular, artistsforaction.com. And, uh, and see, see if your favorite artist is on there. And if they're not, let them know they need to be part of this. Um, some of what you talk about is sort of practical tips for kids to help avoid something like this in the future, including the very simple thing of talking to kids about talking to somebody who may be sitting by him or herself. Yes. So Sandy Hook Promise offers um, programs that we bring to schools at no cost called, it's under the umbrella of Know the Signs, because we have learned that there are almost always warning signs before somebody harms themselves or others. Um, and so 
we're training students how to recognize those warning signs. We're training them how to uh, identify somebody who is chronically socially isolated and make them feel included and seen. Um, and it's, it's, it works beautifully. The students appreciate it. They, 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 they are empowered by these programs and they work. We have now, students trained in our Say Something program have now prevented, uh, that we know of, that we can speak to, 15 school shootings, wow. 15 mass school uh, shootings in, in schools that were planned and ready to be carried out were prevented because a student saw a warning sign and told their trusted adult, usually using our anonymous reporting system, and, and an intervention was made and and somebody not only did not carry out that horrible act, but also got access to the help that they needed. And, and what about, Alex and I really were taken by this, the, the, the power of a simple hello. So our Start With Hello program is amazing, the kids love it. And if you think of somebody, and we've studied this too, people who are chronically socially isolated might be on their way to something more serious. And it doesn't take a lot to make them feel included and seen. And so we, t we train kids, we give them icebreakers and activities, how to connect to somebody, and to understand that, that the, the difference between something that could be uh, at-risk behavior and healthy alone time, because we all need that too. You know, we've seen so many mass shootings in the news mm. over and over and over and over again. Yeah. How do you process that? I, I, I don't know, Alex. It's a, every time it happens, it's devastating to me. It takes me back to my own grief. Not that I'm ever far from it, but... Um, it also uh, underscores the urgency of the work. It underscores the urgency of what we have to offer at Sandy Hook Promise and the awareness and the education that people need to know that there are policy solutions, there are programmatic solutions available to us that are effective, that will stop these things, that will save lives, that don't infringe on anybody's rights. Um, and so the more folks know that these are available to us and it, and it doesn't take much to have a conversation with somebody to take that next step and to be part of the solution. A Father's Promise releases on December 8th in New York. A wider release will follow. A Father's Promise film launch concert is on December 7th. It is at the Skirball Center in New York City. The concert will be the first in a series of national events. So let us know when it comes to L.A. Uh, yeah, love to have, we'd bet. love to come uh, oh, and hear yeah. you jam come out. Come on, let's yeah. do it. <laughs> yes. All, right. All right. Thank you so much Thank for you, everything Mark. you're doing. Really inspiring talking with you. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back.
Excellent. Great. Good. We got it in. We'll got get it in. We there. Get it Thank in. you for Thank you. bringing it up. All right. I'm glad we could do it. Yeah. Thank you when so we much. We still were in position to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's better to say it now than say when it when we're car. when we're at the car. Like, God yeah. damn, oh, that's why I say that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you, you, honestly, for what I you appreciate do. It. It's Thanks very so inspiring. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Marla. Yeah. Great Thank to you. meet you. Good to meet you too.